Prince Harry prepares to arrive in UK alone without his wife Meghan and kids. The Duke of Sussex will be testifying in London on Tuesday. Prince Harry is set to be the first royal in more than 20 years to testify in court. As his case against Mirror Group newspapers continues. However, the father of two will be in attendance from Monday, meaning he will need to travel to the UK beforehand. Given the speed with which he returned to California following the King and Queen Consort's coronation on the 6th of May, and considering the fact that it is his daughter Princess Lilibet's second birthday, it's likely that Harry will choose to spend time with his family before heading to London. And the royal missed most of his son Prince Archie's fourth birthday last month due to the coronation, and headed home. As soon as the ceremony was over, not staying on to enjoy any of the celebrations of the next day's concert. The case has been brought against Mirror Group newspapers by the Prince. And other high-profile figures over alleged unlawful information gathering, including phone hacking. Harry is one of four representative claimants whose cases have been selected for trial. The others are Coronation Street actors Michael Turner and Nikki Sanderson and comedian Paul Whitehouse's ex-wife Fiona Whiteman. It will mark the first time in more than two decades that a member of the royal family has testified since Harry's aunt, Princess Anne, who had to appear in court back in 2002, when she pleaded guilty to a charge under the dangerous dogs act after her pet dog Dottie, an English bull terrier, bit two children in Windsor Great Park. We imagine the family will enjoy a private celebration at their secluded Montecito home, with Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, likely to be in attendance. The Duke and Duchess revealed the imminent arrival of their second baby on Valentine's Day 2021. Releasing two special photographs taken by Meghan's close friend, Miss Anne Harriman. Photographer Miss Anne reminisced about the special announcement earlier this year, resharing the snaps and writing. Two years ago today, I helped my friends announce some wonderful news. The images, which were taken over Zoom, show Meghan cradling her baby bump, with her head in her husband's lap. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor was born on 4 June 2021 at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital, with the Sussexes announcing their daughter's arrival two days after her birth. In his memoir Spare, which was released in January 2023, Harry described the moment he helped to bring his daughter into the world. He wrote, I slid my hands under the tiny back and neck. Gently, but firmly, as I'd seen in films, I pulled our precious daughter from that world into this. And cradled her just a moment, trying to smile at her, to see her, but honestly, I couldn't see anything. I wanted to say, hello. I wanted to say, where have you come from? I wanted to say, is it better there? Is it peaceful? Are you frightened? Don't be, don't be, all will be well. I'll keep you safe. Prince Harry is going where other British royals haven't for over a century to a courtroom witness stand. The Duke of Sussex is set to testify in the first of his five pending legal cases largely centered around battles with British tabloids. Opening statements are scheduled Monday in his case. Harry said in court documents that the royal family had assiduously avoided the courts to prevent testifying about matters that might be embarrassing. His frustration and anger at the press, however, impelled him to book convention by suing newspaper owners allegedly against the wishes of his father, now King Charles III. If Harry testifies as scheduled Tuesday in his lawsuit against the publisher of the Daily Mirror, he'll be the first member of the royal family to do so since the late 19th century, when Queen Victoria's eldest son, Prince Albert Edward, testified twice in court. The man who would go on to become King Edward VI testified in the divorce proceedings of a woman he was accused of having an affair with and in a slander case involving a man who cheated at cards. Edward VI was the great-grandfather of Queen Elizabeth II, Harry's grandmother. In court documents, he described his relationship with the press as uneasy in court documents, but it runs much deeper than that. The prince blames paparazzi for causing the car crash that killed his mother, the late Princess Diana. He also cites harassment and intrusion by the British press and vicious, persistent attacks on his wife, Meghan including racist articles, as the reason the couple left royal life and fled to the US in 2020. Reforming the news media has become one of his life's missions. 
News that British journalists hacked funds for scoops first emerged in 2006 with the arrest of a private investigator and the Royals reporter at the now defunct News of the World. The two were jailed, and the reporter apologized for hacking phones used by aides of Harry, his older brother, Prince William, and their father. A full-blown hacking scandal erupted five years later when it was revealed that the Rupert Murdoch-owned tabloid eavesdropped on voicemails on the phone of a slain girl, forcing the paper to close and launching a public inquiry. Since that time, other newspapers have been accused of illegal intrusions that extended to tapping phones, bugging homes and using deception to obtain phone, bank and medical. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.